the good people over at DraftKings, which, by the way, is sponsoring today's episode, the good people over there. And not just DraftKings, but more importantly, DraftKings Sportsbook and their app, which happens to be the number one rated sports booking app in America because it is safe, secure, and reliable. I mean, Deke, we don't like to play when it comes to our money, right? No. Nah. nah. We If we win, we want our compensation now, right? Mm-hmm. And on the flip side, if we happen to not be victorious, we don't mind that compensation being, you know, kept in house. That's the beauty of safe, secure, and reliable. You know what it is. It's no funny business going on. But Deke, we got something for the first time people out there, right? You know when they first sign up, right? Yeah. Tell us more. I mean, we were all the first at something at some point in our lives. And if you're the first... If this is your first time signing up with DraftKings Sportsbook, make sure you use the promo code MOTES. And why should you use that? Draft deposit bonus money. Up to $1,000 worth of it. Should we explain that to him? Yeah, yeah. I think it would help. You know, you sure? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. Wait. Should we? Probably. All right, all right. I guess we'll explain it. Draft deposit bonus is essentially this. Since your first time, right? Deke, he pulls up his phone. He downloads the app. He says, yo, I'm ready to do this thing. I'll type him a promo code MOTES. He put in $755. So you got the seven because of, you know, the quarterback and then five, five because of moi. Sure. Okay. All right. And then from there, if I'm Mr. DraftKings, I say, I'm going to take my 755 and put it with your 755 just because I like it. And use their promo code. So with that being the case, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you use the promo code. And if you have any type of issue, because we know sometimes people have issues when they're trying to get money, where they're trying to have opportunity to win money. If you happen to have said problem, read this. Take your time with it. It's a lot of letters, but they all make sense. Gambling problem. Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Hello. There he is. Oh, man. The man. The man. Uh-oh. How my dog doing over there, man? Got Terrence. Got, got the homie Terrence Garvin on the line. What's good, man? I feel good, man. How you doing? Locker, mate. Hey, you already man. know where we on, man. You a little windy over there, too, baby. You a little windy. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> I just walked outside. Can you hear me? That's better. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we clean now. We clean now. Let's but yeah, ahead. man, we got to talk, man. We we got plenty to talk about today, actually, man. Steelers, Raiders, I, recapping. Man. First off, man, what was your thoughts on that? You know you got the homie Deke on here. Shout out to the chat as well. Everybody's tuned in right now. What's good, bro? Okay, salute, salute. Um, I thought, I ain't gonna lie, I thought that was a tough law. You mm. know what I mean? I thought I thought the Raiders was going coming off like an emotional high off that first game. I thought that was kind of like a, almost like a playoff game to them. You mm. know what I mean? They was coming off a high. I thought they had a couple key pieces hurt. You know what I mean? I thought that was going to be kind of a Steeler runaway last week. That's what I was predicting a little bit. So I was surprised. I was surprised. Um, I don't know. It just seemed like they couldn't get it going. Mm. You know what I mean? It seems like the run game is what they base everything off of. And it seemed like they just couldn't get that going the way they wanted to. So I don't know. It was a tough off it. Now... Day. Well, now, we was going to say this too, man. So coming from that game, though, right? Obviously, we saw Ben take a lot of shots, and we know yeah. some injuries happened in that game. But the two guys that have started this conversation in terms of would you or would you not play them is TJ Watt and Ben Roethlisberger for this Sunday's game. Mm-hmm. So Uh-oh. we've had a poll up in the chat. I think it was what, <laughs> pretty much 60, 70 percent said they would sit. But no, they said they would play Ben this weekend. And then I've seen the others where people were saying that they would sit uh, T.J. Watt for this game, though. What would you do with T.J. and I mean, with Ben? We don't know, but we like we're looking from the outside in so hard. We don't know how hurt he is. You know what I mean? We don't know what he's really feeling in there. We don't know what he feels today. We don't know what he's gonna feel tomorrow. You know. What I mean? So I would kind of see like what is internally what it is. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be in a hurry to play T.J. You know what I mean? If he's hurting, I wouldn't just. Like, if it's a questionable, if it's a jump ball, like, I'm going to sit you before I play. Mm. You know what I mean? Because it's kind of like, we don't have to do that. It's a long year. You know what I mean? It's a long year. But um, in terms of, it's, it's kind of the same script. Like, how hurt is he? What's the script? Me knowing Ben, me knowing Ben, I believe Ben will play this weekend. That's that's just, if I was a, bank, a gambling man, I believe he'll play this weekend. But um, I don't know. I just feel like he got hit a lot. Now, does that does that concern you though for this game though? 
I don't want him to get hit a lot again. Do you get what I mean? Like, I don't want him to get hit a lot back to back weeks. So I do understand that. But it's kind of like, at the same time, I feel like he's the best situation to win right now, too. Mm. And at the end of the day, you got to get these wins where you can get him. So I feel like if he can play and he's healthy enough to play and he can help, I think you play him. So what do you think about this week going up against the Bengals, one o'clock game at home? One and one, yeah. first one and one. Come on, this is a division, you know what I mean? It's a division game. This is this is a big game. You feel me? These games count. That's another thing. Like these division games, they come back at the end of the year. So it's like, this is a big game. I think the Bengals are playing good right now. They low-key you know I mean? are. <laughs> they Bengals low are playing good right are. now. They quietly over there playing good. Doing what they're trying to do. Like, it seems like it seems like this Joe Burrow, he's a guy. You know what I mean? I'm excited. It doesn't seem like his his fall off is just falling off. I'm excited mm-hmm. to see him against this Pittsburgh system. You know what I mean? Like, it's always good to see like him get attacked in a different in a different manner. But um, it seems like they're a good team. Like they got receivers out there, they got weapons. I will say that. And it seemed like that was kind of a that was a big factor last week in the Raider game yeah. was big plays. You know what I mean? So I know that's going to be a, a vocal point this week is really limiting that big play. Like, they can't give mm. up that big play. You feel know I me? Mean? Like, make them boys really drop the ball downfield. Make them really play offense. Make them really have to work to get everything they got to get. But it'll be a good game. It should be interesting. It's now, interesting to see who's going to get there. Now, T, I, I, I get that, but we got a secret weapon. We got a guy okay. that plays quarterback that is 2-0. and oh. Against the Cincinnati Bengals, man. That's all. It, look, 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 Deke has been over here stumping. He's he beating the table for my man Mason Rudolph. All right. He said, Yo, Mason needs to be the quarterback. He's he two and done. He's, he, he, he wins done. versus Cincinnati. What are your thoughts, man? W- w- would you go that route? Hell no. <laughs> I mean, you I'm going that route if I have to go that route. You know what I mean? Like, I got it. I got to go into the stadium. I know I got to go in. You think that's certain? I got to show up. So it's like I don't know. Is Ben gonna show up? Is he gonna be? Is he gonna be able to play? Or if he's not able to play, we gotta do what we gotta do. Now we gonna yeah, two and zero. I'm saying that too. If he not, if he tell me he can't go, I'm like he two and zero. We gonna get it done. <laughs> but if Ben can go, we gonna put Ben in. I don't know if it's a Bengal record. It's something. It's, it's way more substantial though. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> Man, but so, I'm I'm sure I'm sure that run game is gonna be a major key this week. You know what I mean? That's I'm sure that's gonna be a vocal point this week. Specialize that physicality. I know he's gonna lean on that this week. Like mm-hmm. me, just knowing it, he's gonna lean on that. He's gonna run the ball. It's like somebody's hurt a little bit. One of the soldiers is hurt. Somebody else gotta really pick it up. So I know he's gonna run it. No matter what, he's gonna run the, run the ball and kind of take the take the game into that situation. Like I can already. I feel that. And we got to assume with how the offensive line played last week, like they're going to be motivated to like flip a switch or something. D- because... Dare we say it can't get any worse? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I've been saying all offseason. So I don't think it can get worse from last game to this game. It can't get any worse? I mean, it's some D-linemen that's some dogs out here, man. You know what I mean? With Sensi, yeah, they get, their they D-line's get, they get pretty good. Too. Like they get paid too. Like there's some dogs out here and they know like make them throw the ball. You know what I mean? They know they want to run the ball. Everybody's heard about the first round running back all year too. So you get rowdied up for that too. You know what I mean? You get excited to see that. So it's like, you know, we always say Pittsburgh, you're gonna always see everybody's mm-hmm. best. You're always gonna see everybody's best. People are excited to see that running back. People are excited to they know Smash Mouth's coming. So it's almost like you gear up for Smash Mouth. You know what I mean? So I don't I, I just wanna see them run the ball. I wanna see them establish that run. I wanna see that offensive line really like establish that run you feel me like people know like you are a strong offensive line they're just young they're just young they're trying to figure it out they're trying to jump gotta get them goons man gotta get the goon mentality in this thing baby you know that i think uh, turner's a goon though there's a little goon in there hey. got some goons in there <laughs> speaking of now, now i gotta ask you see this wasn't even, i wasn't even gonna ask you but you brought up trace and now i gotta do it all right <laughs> T, I shared the lock with you for four years, baby. Or, or no, no, not four. We, we had we had our years though. We had our years. We did, we did years. We did years in this thing. But yeah, come on. My, my question is this, man: Have you ever, while playing football, <laughs> either been spit on or had to 
you know, feel the urge to spit on someone? Has that oh, you been disrespected never, to that stamp, like to that level? Has that ever happened to you? I've never spit at anybody. I can say that. I've oh never did that. Gosh. I've seen that. I've been right next to that, though. I can say that. We was playing Oklahoma that night. And uh, I was at West Virginia. Uh-oh. And I seen that happen. I remember the dude to this day. Like, Jalen Saunders, I'll never forget. Like, I've seen that happen. And I seen where it can happen with that. So it's like, I understand. I understand. Oh, man. I, How did it play out? Understand. Is there a bra? You know what I mean? You see, you see a different color. You're already in the war. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So you're already in the war mentality. Like, it's just, it's hard to. What happened after? Hard to take. Was there a bra? Man, you, no, we got, you know, we had a little mini little scuffle too out there over that. So, yeah, like I've seen it happen. I say, like man, I've seen, that that is I've seen it happen. You can't be spitting. Oh, Lord, that's, just, that's that's different. It just changes. But, stuff but the Sean Taylor, doing Sean Taylor is a famous story for that. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's kind of like ah, you feel it? Like we've had a legend do that. <laughs> so you know, I don't know. I've never done it. I've never got that. I've never had. I've never got to that point. I haven't either, that man. Point. I would say I, I don't even. I would hate to to know what could get me to that point. Yeah, that means I'm really upset. Yeah. Like I'm really like, I can't handle it no more. I'm upset. <laughs> Sheesh. Now, just yesterday, we saw the team pick up another guy, man, a, a former first round draft pick, man, from the 2017 yeah. draft, man, by the name of Taco Charlton, man. So, uh, yeah. what are your thoughts on the pickup, man? Do you like it? You hate it? I mean, you think you know? He got potential to help us out. What are we looking like? It's, it's interesting. I trained with Taco before. Um oh, at yeah. Pittsburgh. Shout out Troy Jones. Yeah. Okay. I trained with I trained with Taco before. So and you know Taco's, him, know him. Give us the insight. Let's get it. <laughs> Taco's a dog. You know what I mean? That's a first rounder. He reminds me of Frank Clark. If you know Frank mm. Clark, he reminds me a lot of Frank Clark. Frank Clark is so a dog dog, though. Come on, dog. man. No, no, no. <laughs> Frank a dog dog. Like, but you, you see that. Frank. Come on, man. Frank is different, man. <laughs> he, he reminds me of Frank. He's, it's two first rounders on that practice squad right now. Like, it's some dogs down there waiting to get in there. I know it. But hear me when I say it. it's kind of like, I think he's a dog. I'm interested to see, once again, how he fits in that Pittsburgh system, like, He's he's a four three in type, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. So I'm interested to see like how they use him, where they use him. I know he's an athlete, you know what I mean. Um, I'm that three four is different. You feel it? So just learning it, figuring out where he's gonna plug and play in a sense, or where they're gonna teach him how to play in there. Because mm. he's a strong kid, he's a big kid. He can, might could play that. Yeah, that kind of like that. Two seventy man, so yeah, definitely yeah. a good size on him. So he could sneaky play kind of like what that five or that seven, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Kind of mm -hmm. that Kiesel type position. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, he's athletic too. So it's like they could train him in that outside linebackers position. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he more brings some versatility, I think, more than anything. You know what I mean? He's young. He's still hungry. You know what I mean? He's had, he's had, I guess, difficulties in different places or he's just been released. So it's like when you kind of get released or you get, you be a couple places, you start to get hungry, you start mm. to really understand the difference. So maybe this is the place that it works. Maybe this works out and it's like, that would be a blessing because he's an athlete. He is a former first rounder. So it's like at a time, somebody's seen a whole lot in him. Oh, facts. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's like, I think it's a good pickup. You know, you got him on your practice squad. I think that practice squad system is great now because you get to really utilize the whole team mm -hmm. it's not like that practice squad is truly a say practice squad it's almost like a caddy squad it's yeah. like all right you gotta be yeah you gotta i'm sure the practice squad get reps like with the team like you gotta be ready to go now speaking of practice squad you mentioned another first rounder being down there your boy from uh wvu carl joseph when is he yeah. getting called up from what you've seen of the defense could you see him playing a role right off the bat I totally feel like it's a role in there for him, man. Because I think he's ready. He said, "Yo, get my guy I on the totally field." I totally feel like it's a role in there for him. Like he's a dog. He's a dog. Crazy Eight is a dog. He's he's coming to hit you. He can cover your tight end. He's not just the most like his coverage grade. I give him like a B. You see what I mean? Like he can cover your tight end. He can blitz though. Yeah. So I feel like he fits in the system. I think he gives you a chance to be able to put somebody like uh, Edmonds like in the box. Mm. 
Yeah, Tony, I think about you that. can yeah. put an Edmonds in the box. I think you can put a Carl up high and you can still let Minka be Minka. Like, I think it just gives a chance. Maybe you put, want to put Minka down in the slot. Like, like you know what I mean? Maybe you want to see something different. Now you can put Carl up high. You see what I mean? I just think he gives you another versatile weapon. Like, I, I always feel like those those swingers, those weapons are weapons. Like, you want those two-position players. Like, he can play in that box if you need him to, but he can still be a safety. So, it's like, I think he's a weapon. Like, I, I'm just, I'm excited to see how he does fit in the defense, like, when they do bring him up. But I think he'll do really well when they do bring him up. Well, and you brought up a good point, and they've already started doing some of this last game. Minka in the slot, Troy, uh, or excuse me, Trey Norwood, going back to play safety now right norwood he struggled in the preseason playing predominantly safety played well week one as a slot corner right so you can see where do you know it, it, what you're saying is it far off it? <laughs> right it's, it's different packages, Get, uh, another different week together. or two depending on what this what my man looked like this week lord it, it might be sooner than we think just wait, wait, give him some time <laughs> you just always you just always got one thing I know about Chris, he got he always got another way to get his yeah. what he want done. Like he gonna have a couple little packages. Like you know, he get exotic. Come on now, yeah, he gonna get exotic. He has yeah. all DBs out there. <laughs> Seriously. You know what I mean? All DBs and a cover linebacker. He, he'll hit you with that for a fact. That's the, that's the world we're in, though. You know what I'm saying? These boys is out. You can cover like these tight ends. A tight end can kill you now. No, a that's tight the end truth, can man. Kill you. Like really take over the whole game. That's absolutely true. A running back can truth. really come out that back and kill you now. So it's like you gotta have everybody gotta be able to kind of stick on somebody. It's not really just that that a gap or you gotta be able to get home. Mm-hmm. Like you gotta be able to get home. Like it's just your role. Like one thing I say, I always speak on Vince. Like Vince prided himself on being able to get home. He's like, God, I'm gonna be able to know. I'm gonna stay on the field because I know I can get home. So it's like you gotta just create a, a, a characteristic that they know they can really trust, and that's gonna keep you out there. Mm. Nah, I like that though, man. You're absolutely right. But now we got to transition, baby. We okay. we, we got to talk about your, your your team. You know, you, I know y'all got that big win last week. I, Let's I get go. it. Look, look, look. I know we talked about it too. We said, look, man, y'all had that easy school versus was it Long Island University mm-hmm. Sharks? Mm-hmm. I didn't even know there was a school in Long Island University, let alone being called the Sharks. Y'all beat we them. them good money. We, 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 we paid we, them good money. You, you, you right? You, nice. Y'all did what y'all we needed paid them to do. Good money. We did what we had to do. But 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 talk about yeah. man, cause you was at this game, huh? W U Virginia Tech 27-21, man. Set the scene for us, man. What was it like? Set the set the scene for us. Let me let you know. First of all, it was a gold rush. Oh, okay. It was a gold rush. First time they handed out the towels since LSU, West Virginia, when college game day was there. So feel feel the passion of the game. So it's real. It's it's turned up. It's 60,000 packs. It's been sold out for a week. You know what I mean? We it's us. Like you're in the, you're in you're in Mountaineer Stadium. You feel me? It gets hostile in Mountaineer Stadium. I tell people that all the time. It gets hostile. It's very, oh yeah, I wore a I pit hoodie down there like you know <laughs> ten years ago, and I, I got college kids like flicking me off. I think I was like what? I was probably in like high school or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> no love. Come on, man. it's really top five stadiums in the country. I'm trying to tell you, it's top five. I'm getting to Morgantown this year. I, I'm, I'm gonna, holler. I'm, I'm gonna check five. me one out, man. I, I'm, I gotta see this. I gotta see this. They really should have brought game day up there. I'm being honest. They really should have brought game day up there. See? We should have got game day. I know mm. that Penn State game was big. We should have yeah, got. I was gonna game say day. the Penn State game though. The yeah, white. Yeah, it's hard. Penn, Penn State, State Auburn. Out. That was come on now. We, we, we had a gold rush. You but hear me? They, I hear you with the, the white out. We had a gold <laughs> rush. But it's it's, it's Penn State. <laughs> Yeah, it's West Virginia. But, but, it's West Virginia. You feel that? I, I, so look, I feel 60, what you say. I feel it. 60. What are Penn State holding right now? Uh, probably like 110. Penn State holding 100. It's kind of close. It's kind of close. Yeah. yeah, yeah they kind of stack. <laughs> <laughs> Different though, but our 60s high style. I believe the value, that- the value of our stadium is not in numbers, but in men. Ooh. Uh, okay. Yeah. I hear yeah, you. Yeah, take that with you. Talk, talk your talk there. Talk your talk. Take that with you. So how we how are you feeling about this weekend though, man? Because we know in college football, it's it's, it's every week. You feel me? So we know every y'all week. took care of business at Virginia Tech, but now y'all start. We, we beat a play. rival Virginia Tech. We brought the trophy back home. Y'all, y'all got conference good play good now, right man. Now. Yeah, we wanted to. We we're a dom. We're a strong defense. We're a dominant defense, and we got Oklahoma this week. And we're gonna go down there. They're gonna go down there and take care of business. Oh. You know, they're gonna give them exotic looks. Uh-huh. They're gonna blitz him. They're going to make him feel uncomfortable. He won't just sit back there and pat the ball. I'll tell you that. 
Uh oh. He won't, he won't do that. We have a D line. We're blitzing. He won't just sit back there and pat the ball. So wow. it's like, yeah, we're trying. We're, just, we're here to rock the world. Like it's like trust that. the climb. Trust the climb. Like we are climbing. What do you make of the spread? They got that Oklahoma a, minus 16 and a half. That's a big Minus 16 and a half? Yeah, the yeah. disrespect, Lord. That's 16 and a half? Oh, man. That's disrespect. I don't see it. Oh, you our barely offense, got out of Nebraska. Our offense, our offense isn't dynamic, but we run the ball. They struggle first so, game, too. Yeah, Oklahoma they, they barely the got game. out of the first two. Yeah. They not. I mean, they're, they're beatable. One thing about this college thing is everybody, you know how it go. Every week is every week's a new week. That's one thing about football. Every week's a new week. Mm-hmm. So it's like if you show up to play, you really can be beat. Like, like so I'm I think I like West Virginia. We got confidence right now. We got momentum. Like that was a big win for us. That was a program win. Mm-hmm. That brought us together. That brought us together as a family. Like, let's carry, let's keep the momentum riding. Let's go, let's go upset the world. Probably rank us in the top top what ten next week after we upset upset Oklahoma. Lord, we'll you keep right. Yo, yo, W, yo, W, U rankings are like Deke's quarterbacks rankings. I right? I, I sense a <laughs> lot of biasness in here. Okay, it's just just a slight amount of biasness. <laughs> it's, it's, we got some guys, man. The Steels brothers, a guy like we got guys. We got backfield like. I got guys. We got future Steelers. Like, we got guys. We got guys. We got those type of mentality guys. So it's like the culture is changing. You know what I mean? And that's what we need down there. We need the culture. We, it's all about the culture. That's what makes these college programs the programs is the culture. Like, these kids got to carry the tradition and make it doggy, make it hot, make it fun to play. And make it like, you know, when you come to Morgantown or you know when you see West Virginia, you mm-hmm. know you're in for a dog fight. That's what it is. Uh, well, well, I'll say this, yeah. man. I just looked in the chat. Solo one is rocking with you. He says a mountaineer fan here, and he's back. Yeah. All right, but Nick yeah, yeah. just simply said boomer sooner. Okay, because right, they, they hey, I, I'm just throwing it out there, man. I right? yeah, we got people it's tuning in from all over the country. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Ooh. So 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 all this W you talk, they gonna find out. I right? mm-hmm. we yeah, gonna find out. So so, Did so we get. I heard we got flip prime time. So y'all, oh yeah, seven thirty. <laughs> Well, yeah, you know, you know we, how that goes. Yeah, you know, dogs play at night. They let okay. them start to play at night again. Hey, Lucky's not in Morgantown. That's all I really got. It. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. Some some people think W you gonna get murdered. Shout out to Demond, Demond Brown. It's not from me. It's not from Deke. Demond Brown. He's in the chat. He says W you gonna get murdered, baby. <laughs> I I just I, Lincoln Riley. He's been doing some things out there now. They say he's the quarterback whisperer. Yeah, but I mean, come <laughs> on. Like, look at these quarterbacks he just had, too, bro. The, like, the quarterback I'm, I'm not talking negative on Skyler, but look at, look at look at Kyler Murray in this league. Like, that's scary. What's that? What is that? You know what I mean? Like, what is that? Like, don't you doing stuff that's like, you're not supposed to do that. Yeah, yeah you can't game plan for that. You know what I mean? Even Baker, like Baker's all right. Baker let it go. Baker hey, a big Baker, arm. Baker put that flag on him. Yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Come on now. So it's like, let's see, let's see if he can just know we 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 do this. That's all I gotta say. You gotta come see a dog fight. They're gonna get a dog fight. I'll tell you that. I don't see 16. I'd take that. If I was a gambling man, I'd tell y'all to take that. They're not gonna cover that. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. They're well, not gonna score six. I don't like them to score that much. Come on. Oh, you is not gonna score over sixteen? Come on, I don't even want them to score sixteen. Come on, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. This is not the sixty seventy games. We're not doing that. You uh-huh. remember how we used to blow JMU out? Like whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> wait on. a minute. Wait, TG, really, bro? You that, know that, we don't just t- give up t- points t- like that. Wait, 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 uh, easy. That's where we going. You just gonna take the just JMU? Saying. You got to catch a straight. We talking you know about we OU and W with Jim. You got to do with that. That's crazy. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know we don't just give up points like that. Wow. You know that. The disrespect. You know that. And, and, and we got Ragu talking about let's go Mountaineers. Don't you second that, man. Don't don't you let's start go. that. That's crazy. Talking about man. some with Jim. What we do to JMU. I'm with you, oh, Nick. Why? Look, look, Nick, why said 40 to 10 boomer soon. All right. So give me your final score. G- give me your final score prediction. Final score prediction before before we wrap it up. What you got for Can us, I man? Give my true final score prediction. Uh-oh. Can I give you the truth? Can I need I to hear this. Truth? I need to hear this. I think we're gonna upset them on some light on some like we're gonna hold them. I think we're gonna beat them honest and truthfully 24-22. 
something like that. 24, not, 20, not, okay, okay. Or in that range, though. Close, close game. Something like that. 28, 28. Something weird is going 28, 25. Like, after some field goals, 28, 20. We gonna, they're not going to score all these points. It's not going to be that. Okay, so, it's not, I mean? so this ain't they 70. This ain't they get right game for them. This is just a dog no, fight. No. You know, get right game. For okay, them. just make sure we make sure, man. We make sure. It's, not, it's no more get right. All You're right. in the Big Twelve. We're not the get right. You better come right. Like we are right. We're ready. All right. Come on. All right. Go ears. Go, go ears. Go ears. Go ears. Hey, go ears. My dog. Nick Watt, I'm gonna follow you somewhere on Instagram. <laughs> about that. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, so, like I said, man, we go. We gonna we gonna link up again. We go. We gonna do this again. We're going to yes, see what sir. them boys look like, though, man, because we're going to hey, all be tuned in now, it. man. I called that Virginia Tech a couple you did. weeks ago. If you tell you the did. people to go back and look, I called that. You called it? You called it? Day. Come on. Go ears. Y'all remember this. Y'all go back and watch this. Go ears. I'm telling you now. Here we go, go there. Don't be high, baby. Don't be high when I holler at you next week. All right, baby? All right, bro. My bro, dog, bro. baby. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>